I felt, my autobiography. Yeah, I felt, you know, a kinship with her. <laughs> she cry, cry. <laughs> Just on me. Hi, uh, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday again. I had a good week. Did I tell you? I'm sure I, I won't quit talking about my dog, but I taught her how to swim this week. You taught her how? Mm-hmm. You said, you do your paws like this. <laughs> well, the first time she fell in, she panicked. <laughs> so we had to work on that. But well, she's she like 40 pounds. She's pretty heavy. She's like 50 pounds. I had to get in the pool and get her. She was it clenched did. on the side, shaking. And Bless her heart. She, she was drowning. Yeah, she was. And you oh. were a good mama. I was trying to be good. Hi, Holly. Hi, Hi, Melissa. Allie. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Mona. Hi, Holly. <sighs> Hi, Sue. Chili, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I bet it is chilly there. It was kind of chilly here the other morning. I think it got down to 59. <laughs> well, that's what they were forecasting. I don't know if it actually did. It, the mornings feel nice here. They just feel so lovely. But when I got in the car yesterday, my car said 105. I know it wasn't. It wasn't. My car's drama. She's the diva. Yeah. But um, it was at least 97. <laughs> it was pretty warm. Hi, oh, Susan. hello from Sweden Ooh, and Connecticut, Hawaii. Hawaii. Hi, Maria. Hi, Connie. Hi, Connie. I talked Jenny. to Connie twice in the last week. You did? Mm-hmm. I knew you talked to her once. I saw, yeah, I saw the caller ID and I grabbed the phone before you could get it. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me, no. <laughs> she leaves the salespeople for me to talk to. <laughs> she, she talks to all the phone people. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> like, I'm going to see the phones for you. They're, oh. they're selling pins. Well, do we need to talk about who broke the internet or who broke the wig chick site? Who broke it? You finally got your app. Uh, oh. Anima. Yes. Finally. Isn't that cute? I've decided I want another one because mine was heavier than that in the bang. So um, I want to do over. Misty had so much styling to do, but I had whined and cried and belly ached. And so when it came in, she was off that day. So I got it all on a head and right at her station. <laughs> I think you even texted me. Yeah. I said it came in. Like, I oh, hope she was preparing me. And, and you know what? It was nothing. Yeah. I mean, it. she did something and got it to stay over, and I love it. I absolutely well, love it. Well, one of these days, we need to address their whole mini lace situation with Ellen Villa. It's not going to be today, but it's going to be one day Yeah, because it needs to be addressed. Colleen, they're still installing your floors. Wow. I was up in my attic changing my air filter. I am so proud of myself. Because I am scared I'm not going to make it down or something. I'm going to have to just, like, hang out there. I'm going to get stuck. Excuse me. But I did it. And while I was up there, I noticed I have extra flooring, and that makes me happy because I was so scared. I was never going to, if I, you know, drop a knife on it or something, I don't know. You should not be getting in your Get an axe in there and get crazy. You need to wait till Liz comes over. That's her best friend. And then get in the attic. You don't get in the attic. Well, when you're I home usually alone. have my dad do it. And my dad was at my house, but he just that day had got back that at four fifty two in the morning. I had to go to the airport and get no him. excuse for that. And I didn't want to ask him. I mean, I do a lot of stuff. I won't even get in my attic unless someone's there with me. Well, I, changed my I don't filter. need anything. It was like a month old pass. <sighs> yeah, Sarah doesn't like the mini lace either. Yeah. I I'm sorry. I mean I love my anima. That's the only Ellen Villa I have, I think, that I wear on a consistent basis but that mini lace it needs it needs some help i don't have a problem with it that's every every anima that came in when we first had that first influx of orders every one of them i had to do that it's where it's sewn together with the machine cap um and it just it it has a gap like here right here there's a split in all of these and so they take a little extra work and you know i mean Donna says, Misty, that sounded There is no telling what I said that sounds weird because I say weird stuff all the time. <laughs> I didn't say enema, although that's a health benefit, you know? There are places you can go that just do enemas. Did you know that? My sister went on some, like, week-long vacation, some she colonic did. cleaning mm-hmm. vacation in Spain. Well, as we're talking about that, Trish says she's making cream cheese banana bread. So oh, <laughs> who cares about that? That's good. It does sound good. No, it's anima. 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 It sounds like anima. Anima. Hi, Debbie. It's her first time. Welcome. There was someone else that said it was their first time to watch live. Welcome. 
A lot anyway. of people come in and say they watch us, but they can't watch us live. They watch us later. Mm -hmm. And I always say that's the best way to do it because then you can fast forward through all of our nonsense. Yeah, Melissa, yours look gorgeous on you in uh, Nashville. She's I didn't see it. Oh, it's beautiful. I haven't seen it. And been the on bangs Facebook. are all perfect. And yeah, it looked great. I don't have time to get on Facebook. Well, she's coming in on Monday and you're not going to be here. Well, she probably planned that. Didn't you, Melissa? You planned it. <laughs> I don't think she knew. I talked to her on the phone. I don't think Hi, she knew. Hi, Carla. All right. So, oh, somebody asked what lipstick. Well, I'm going to tell what wig I'm wearing. I'm oh. wearing big time. <laughs> they, big time. Okay, this is I'm a big deal. I'm sorry. I get interrupt. Holly says she loves our nonsense. So does Maxine. But we got a comment on YouTube last week that said that we were not professional and that they thought that we shouldn't chatter so much and joke and whatever and that all the other people on YouTube are so professional and so nice and we're just dumb, basically. Well, and you know, and we've had, when we first started doing this, we would have a lot of comments like that. And my response was always, we call this wig talk Wednesday. Right. It's our own little morning show. I mean, if I don't <laughs> like something, I turn it off or we, I change the channel. I don't comment. We just want to be like Kathy Lee and Hoda. <laughs> I mean. Oh, I don't like them. Well, you know, a better version then. Yeah. Well, Only we don't have the alcohol. No, I have iced tea. <sighs> All right. Anyway, go. What were you talking? Oh, you. Oh, you were trying to talk about yourself, I'm and I to interrupted. Talk about myself. <laughs> can, let's, can we just bring it back to me? I'm wearing the Big Time by um, Raquel Welch in the RL 924SS. I always put this in the description, so if you ever want to know, it's there. I love that 924 color. I, I don't do. have anything in it, and I've got to get something. It's my favorite color outside of the 410SS. Maybe I'll get another um, in charm. charge or. Um, Unfiltered. Unfiltered, because I love those. I love it. It's a good way to go um, a little blonde. if Because, like, my hair is naturally brown, but it's not blonde blonde. It's just that good crossover mid kind of tone. But color. it's cool, too, because mm -hmm. your hair is a good, cool, medium brown. And they didn't put gold highlights in it. They didn't put red. As so. much as I complain about their heat defiant fiber, I love their lace fronts, you know? Yeah. And I... I love their lace fronts, and I love Tony Beverly lace fronts. Those are my two favorites. My in charge and my unfiltered have both worn great, even though they're they're heat defined. They have. Well, and like I said, I'm I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I think they did something to the fiber. I agree. Even though we've asked, and they said no. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go get something really quick. Oh, I'll be right back. I'll talk about what I'm wearing. Okay. We don't know. Anima. Not Anima, A-N-I-M-A by Ellen Villa in Pearl Blonde Rooted, and I love her. In case nobody was <laughs> knew this, I've had to wait on this wig for a long time. I said, I was saying out there, they're going to regret the day they ever named that wig, and somebody in Texas is wearing it. <laughs> we, we just talk the way we talk. Yeah, it just, you know. Okay, can we just take one second to talk about back orders? Okay, I think I'm done talking about my wig. Yeah, because no one knows what you have. <laughs> You might want to say it one more time. Okay, we have had serious, serious backward issues. And I know everyone out there probably thinks that we just kind of say what we want to say to keep you at bay, but that's not true. Um, can we just say that's why we're not carrying bell trust anymore? <laughs> yeah. Not because they were on back order, but because the communication was, I mean, we just want to know. Okay, so we're kind of a pain to deal with. I'll just tell you that right now. I don't care what the problem is. Don't let me figure it out. Call me and tell me. You know, the date's changed or this has changed. But to have a customer waiting on a wig for three months and then we realize, oh, it was supposed to be here at the end of September. I think I'll call and check, which happened to Misty yesterday. And Misty calls and checks and she goes, oh, yeah, that's going to be January. Yeah. That does, does not go over well with us. And like we said, it's we know it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, we have one company that I'm going to really brag on, Renee Paris. The back order situation with them is almost zero. Yeah. I mean, and if something is on back order, it may be, you know, a month, two months. But we can even have a special order made. Before then. Before some of the other companies will get their back order. Anyway, yeah. I wanted to read just, it's not very long, but this is straight from the source. I understand how frustrating this is to you and your customers. It is equally frustrating for me and the company as well. 
We want to give you accurate information, but in the last year, definitely due to the pandemic, all manufacturers are faced with challenges that are affecting the due dates. In the last year, we've seen many factories close and we need to make a shift. I can't understand our grammar there. This causes delays. Yes, there are times we are lucky and we get things in early, but this is the case not so. Again, that doesn't make sense. Um, is your customer open to changing? Okay, so we want to let you know, we don't still understand it. We still don't know why, because the thing is, I'm kind of over blaming the pandemic. I know that post pandemic, there's a problem. We have the same problem in house is finding people that want to work. And so, you know, they're having the same problem overseas. And so uh, then the economic problem of the pandemic, which has caused factories to close. And yeah, you know, there's a there's a whole lot of moving parts from start to finish when you start making a wig. If you come up with a nose style, you're you're now trying to guess what people are gonna buy. And so that's why new things go back ordered pretty quick. But I would expect them to be able to remedy that within sixty to ninety days. Right. We were seeing John Renault go into summer of twenty twenty three. We ordered a we ordered a Skylar in June of this year and the date for Skylar is June of next year. And so, I mean, we're only bringing that up because we want you to know that we're as frustrated as you are and our hands are kind of tied. Yeah. So, you know. In fact, you, I had a rep, I told a rep the other day she had to call the customer because they had told me one thing after another and I was like, you know what? I wouldn't believe me, I'd think you were lying because it was so ridiculous the number of times I was told it's shipping and then suddenly we haven't had that since June and then it's shipping again and anyway, um, it's just it's just really frustrating. I just feel like so. it's time that we don't use the pandemic as an excuse, just like they said, is an excuse for everything. It's almost 2023, y'all, it's been yeah. three years. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it did change our lives, it did, mm -hmm. but it's time. <laughs> We all to, have to operate to, differently. Right. And it but it's time to find an operating solution that's acceptable. You're right. So like finding an employee. <laughs> <laughs> or a couple. <laughs> Y'all, I'm t I, I even told one of our reps in California she's I love her. I said, Alicia, look, I know you got a lot of collections connections and a lot of, you know, people in different parts of the country. If anybody's looking for a job, just call us. Yeah. So we're always looking for somebody. No, and the other thing that we will tell you is a good rep is worth their weight in gold. Mm -hmm. Love her. I, I want to love all of our reps. And I understand that, you know, they can only tell us what they're told. It's not their personal fault. I never want them to think that we're coming against them, but their management and their, you know, company operating system needs to look and say, okay, we need to change it. But well, but the thing is, okay, they have back order management now, which they've never really had to do. And so I've had to change how I do my job. Missy's had to change how she does her job post pandemic and with growth in different areas that we weren't used to doing. And if it's your job to do that, you, you mm -hmm. do it. Right. Well, I don't do my job. But. <laughs> well, we all do part of our job. <laughs> all all right. right. Well, let's do the fun stuff. Okay. All right. So we're going to show you <laughs> some more Envy wigs. What? I'm sorry. Jane just said. I only ever bought two Beltress wigs, and both of them it took so long I forgot I ordered them <laughs> that it was a surprise. It's like Christmas. What? Oh, all <laughs> Where'd right. Where did this come from? <laughs> oh, okay. goodness. All right. So we're going to show you some more Envy wigs. We are continually happy with this line. Um, one of the things that we're finding that is good, they, I mean, there's a few times I call and they don't have what we want, but the back orders aren't six months or a year. So they seem to be falling in line with um, Noriko, Renee Paris, um, even uh, Tony Beverly, when mm -hmm. they have a back order, it's typically not more than <sighs> three months. That's what I forgot to get. My rooted pink pearl starly. Well, I think we have two. <sighs> anyway, continue. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, Aesthetic is bad. Aesthetica is bad. Yeah. 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 Aesthetica. It's really, with all of these, it's hit or miss. So if you want a certain style, a certain color, you know, we'll be like, oh, it's probably backward. And you call and they're like, oh, no, we've got plenty in stock. So mm. anyway, Always we're feel free to call if you yes. have questions. Yes. Okay. Let's. Envy. Oh. I am so glad because I was not here. What are you looking for? Liners? 
I was not here when y'all did this l- unboxing the first time. Well, and I was watching and I was like, oh. Because <laughs> I, I was excited about this line. Oh. They have a because, wonderful color <laughs> option. Because where were you? Oh, did I tell y'all I went to Scotland? <laughs> I'm like, it's uh, seven months too early to ask for another vacation. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying that in front of all of them, so you can't tell me no. I'll never <laughs> tell you no. I'm like, I want to go back in April. Okay. I bet it's cold there in April. Uh, they really have a nice year-round kind of climate. I mean, it's probably in the like 50s, but anyway. Okay. All right. These are straight out of the box. Uh, bear in mind with Envy. Envy has two... Well, they have three um, fiber lines. They've got human hair, which we don't carry at all. They've got something called Envy Hair, which is a blend between heat defiant uh, and human hair. And it's a 70-30 blend, 70 uh, heat defiant, 30 human. I'm testing out one of the those wigs just to see how they wear before we decide if we're going to carry it or not. Uh, so far, we've washed it and it came back beautiful. So we'll see how it wears. And then their other line is traditional fiber. So everything we're going to show you today is traditional fiber. I actually wore Dakota the other day before we ever even showed it. Um, and Maria Walby has it. She posted her picture in the group. So pretty. I love this wig. Yeah, Sarah, uh, Ellen Villa, their back orders aren't bad at all. You know, it's always just a month or two. Well, except for that one. What was that one? Rika? Oh, that yeah, Rika, Rika took forever. Well, okay, for them, it was five months. Yeah. Yeah, for, and so for Ellen Villa, that was a long backer. Well, this is cute. It's so when cute. When did you wear this? I wore it in, in that color. When? The week that I think I came back. And, yeah, the... Um, Why don't I have this? I don't know. The platinum is not gold at all. It's very, very... Yeah, it's very In fact, cool. I've noticed they have, it, like I said, a big color line. They don't have a lot of overly gold colors. No, they don't. They don't. Um, this. Is they don't have. Coffee. There's a. There's a hole for for me, in their reds. They've got a dark red, which is beautiful, and then they've got something called a lighter red, which I don't think we're showing today, but it's it's pretty vibrant. Yeah. And they don't. They don't have like um, what I call a, a natural red head. Well, Carrie has identified her color. She's our, our natural redhead that works here, and it's the cinnamon raisin okay. that she likes. No, that's um, pretty. I do think we have one of those today, but it's it's still it's not a huge red line. Yeah. But, oh, gosh, yes, there are cool colored brunettes, Jan. Sarah has this, like this one is, in platinum shadow. This is just, it's lightweight. The cap fits comfortable. The front looks like it's got a cold set issue. Well, I pulled it out away, so you can even do a bang on this one if you want because it has a shorter bang. But, and you know, cold set issues are just what they are. I mean, life. So if you ever order a wig and you pull it out of the box and you look at it, even if we send it, sometimes just the way they're packed, we try really hard. But I mean, they just happen. So yeah. to, to get that out, you want to just put it on head, let it relax. If you have a hot air brush, that's the number one tool for a cold set issue. Bang. Okay. Especially yeah. summer. Uh, where they're sitting on the trucks, they're sitting in the middle of the ocean, you know, they're they're going to get jostled around. Is jostle a word? Jostled? Yeah. Tossled, jostled. Anyway, yeah. and so it can move in the box and get You're it. You're asking me if something's a word. I make words up all the time. Yeah, that's a <laughs> word, Kim. What are you talking about? All right, let's switch. Okay. This, the cinnamon toffee, it's... It's not a cool tone, but it's not real um, red either, Lorraine. It's more a uh, golden. Yeah, it's like a gold brown. It's pretty. Now, I will say their lace fronts, the knots are a little dark right in front. So, you know, that's not my favorite thing, but it's not horrible either. You just put a little foundation powder on there. Well, and this morning I trimmed the lace on my other one. Uh, and once I got that good zigzag in there with the John Renault pinking shears, it looked great. All right, people are asking about size. Both of us have heads that are a little bit on the larger side. I'm getting a lot of good stretch in here. What I don't know is uh, if it's going to work for a small head. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of like Ellen Villa, where I think it, it will do either way. I mean, yeah. the thing about Ellen Villa is just they have enough stretch in their cap that they're kind of small, but it'll stretch enough for a larger size. And the ear to ear is um, pretty good. I yeah, think. and Allie's asking if cinnamon toffee or cinnamon raisin comparable. The cinnamon toffee is more comparable to the raisin glaze highlight. Um, yeah, cinnamon raisin is darker red, so this would be the closest. Yeah. All right. What's On to next? the next one. Okay, this is what we're asking for all the time. And it's hard to find. We'll see. The, well, it, okay, it's easy to find, but it's hard to find the perfect one. Okay, um, Lisa wants to know, mono part, yeah, the, this is lace front with the mono part, the Dakota that we just had on, and what we're putting on now is a monofilament top without the lace. I thought this one could be an alternative to Alva for some people who didn't want as much hair. Um, I think the curl on the sides make it um, a little different. So you could straighten that out with a hair. But if you want brush. a good classic bob with a nice light bang, this fiber feels incredible. No, it's so soft. And it's it's got good movement. Yeah. So, I mean, I love my oh, Sandy album because has it has a lot of hair, but some people just think it's too much. So. And this reminds me of, if you've worn Emma by Aesthetica, this reminds me of a better Emma. Now, obviously, these bangs are too long for me. Yeah, they are me, too. They're putting but, me in um, the eyeballs. You don't have to wear a bang. This doesn't have lace, though. No, it does so not have lace. you probably do want to do the bang. It just needs a trim. Yeah. All right. You want to switch? <laughs> yeah, because I can't see. I'm trusting you. Well, you're putting the same wig on. Are they the same color? No. No, I'm pretty close. Sahara Blonde Butter. See, Butterscotch Shadow seems like it would be a lot more gold, and it is, but not, still not too gold. Well, when I, anytime I read the word Butterscotch in the description for a wig, it scares me. Because I've seen some manufacturers, and it's like, it looks like an orange tabby cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, if this were mine, <laughs> listen to me. I think I would pull just a little bit of that curl out with a um, little heat and make it a little bit straighter. But I like a lot of hair, so I probably think I wouldn't want this one because I like more poof. Yeah, you but, wouldn't. You wouldn't wear that. But I'm I'm a bigger person, so you know I feel like I need more hair. If you're small, petite, and you want to be out, Bob, this would be good because it's mm -hmm. nice and flat. You can really see. Yeah, it's it's a great style. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, now on their description, and these are all lightweight. On their description, on this next one, it says it was modeled after Miley Cyrus. I don't know. Anyway, I she had so many different hairs. <laughs> I just think I don't know. All right, so this is a mono part with no lace. And Allie, you were asking about cinnamon raisin. This is cinnamon raisin. Which would be more like ginger highlight up maybe from Noriko. It's pretty. Do you think it's more pretty. like, like she was asking about raisin glaze? No, I think the other color that we showed her. Oh, That's okay. why I was saying I think this is. Okay. Yeah. This would be cute. Some product. Yeah, this is um, longer here than Jet. Is it asymmetrical? Am I coming? It sure is. It is. But it has that model part. Yeah. Which, I mean, you get this in here, sweep it as over, really get some wig could, wax yeah, or John Renault peace out cream right there. That's cute. Now, this isn't the best color on me, admittedly. There's nothing wrong with an orange tabby cat. <laughs> There is nothing wrong. I get in trouble all the time. <laughs> it's just it They're belongs beautiful. on a tabby it cat. It just belongs on a tabby cat. This is cute. It is cute. It's not my style, but you could turn this into something good. It's my style, but yeah. this is not my color. Well, let's switch. Okay. Yeah, cinnamon raisin is a great fall color. 
Oh, cinnamon raisin bread would be good. Oh, with some cream cheese. Marsha got me hooked on this. You go to Walmart or your grocery store, and you get that pepperidge. What is it called? Pepperidge? Pepperidge Farm? No, is that the sausage? Whatever it is, it's the the bread, the cinnamon raisin bread, the swirl. Yeah. And you just put plain cream cheese on that. It's so good. Didn't I make you some cinnamon raisin bread? Probably not because you didn't. I, I don't typically you. like cinnamon, but that cinnamon raisin bread is not real cinnamony. cinnamon Cinnamon-y. Wow. I'm about to start baking bread again, so I'll make some. Yeah, this isn't really my color either. For natural blonde. Oh, I like the red. This, um, this light blonde color is really pretty because it does have color dimension. A lot of times when they go with the lighter blonde colors, they're, um, it's very monochromatic, and a lot of people don't like that. Um, Lisa says that she loves Dakota, but she doesn't see the scalp. Can that be fixed? You can work that part a little bit with like a, a rat tail comb or something where you really, because it comes really highly zigzagged where it's doesn't show but you can work that out and another tip which we've never done on on air <laughs> is if you really want to have more of a part and see it you can also do like what I just said with the lace take your foundation powder and just put it on there and it lightens that up just a little bit this is cute this is just real cute it is cute I might need me a red wig for the for I the love autumn. that color on you I like it okay What's next? Coco. Coco. <laughs> I like Coco. Yeah, I like Coco too. What? When I ordered this, I ordered the same color, so oh, we yeah. both have the same. That's all right. <laughs> that just means that we need it. Creamed coffee. I don't really understand this color. I don't understand this color description either because, to me, this is red. Yeah, it's almost like the maple sugar. If yeah. you know your color line, Maple Sugar R from Noriko, Renea Paris, this kind of reminds me of that. This is lace front with a mono part. This one feels a little smaller. It does. Not really sure why, but it does. This is cute. This is like well, a... It's supposed to be like January. I thought it was like January. Well, I think the curl pattern's a little different. Oh, what's tuxedo hot chocolate? I've never heard of that. That's the white white hot chocolate. Okay, I feel like um, glamorous. You know how they have those waves around their mm -hmm. face and they're oh, like and if you got this in like that light blonde color, it'd be like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, and you like we could put some little pins right there and maybe a little headband. It's a good flapper wig. Elizabeth says she's worn Dakota for a year. That's like a long. That's a long time to wear a wig. Um, last this is cute i like this i like it yeah too. i think like going into the holidays this would be so pretty a couple of at a christmas party people. or if you wanted to wear it for thanksgiving or new year's or columbus day which is monday <laughs> <laughs> any Viva, day Viva any columbus day. <laughs> Someone called to ask if we were open on Columbus Day. That's why I said <laughs> it's a holiday. Well, if the banks bank are closed. We sh I just, I, hey, I'm advocating. If the bank's closed, Mimi's ought to be closed. Oh, I'm off anyway. Never mind. Yeah. You, you got Columbus Day off. Because I'm celebrating it. You knew I would complain if I didn't get Columbus Sorry. Day. Just kidding. This yeah. is cute. It's Canadian Thanksgiving on Monday. Oh, really? Well, happy Thanksgiving, Canada. Yeah, this is cute. I like you want to switch? Just, just because they're hanging differently? Yeah. So this is fun. Just because that's what we do. Yeah. So we're switching so you can see. And Missy's so nice. I'm at my desk. Her desk is all across the shop from mine. And she goes, oh, we have two cocos and cream coffee. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Who did that? Oh, this, yeah, see, it's hanging differently. Your, is. your wave right there is a little different. I like them both. I like that one better than this one. See, you could just tuck that little piece right there. And this is why when people come in and they're like, it's not the same. It never will be. No, it's like. It never will be. It's like waking up and if you were doing your own bio hair. I don't care what. I can't even get my ponytail to look the same day to day. So I always say, just have a little, girl, you know, have a little. Change it up. Yeah. 
Oh, there's Barbie is so sweet. She is sweet. You have to be this. That's the best comment I've heard all day. <laughs> we look cuter than the gals in the photo. Let's look at the gals in the photo. I don't know. They've got some pretty gals. Yeah, they do. They have a really their their catalog is really good. And this wig when it comes in, I can't wait. One of the things that Envy's done, I think, or it's obvious. I know they've listened to wig shops, the end consumers, and they've designed their things around what people want. So, for example, in the back of the book, back of the catalog, they have pictures of every style so that you can kind of look, see what you want to see. Yeah, I don't know. We're cute, but she's awful pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got that Jean Harlow thing going. Oh. All right. Yeah, I love the way Envy has done their marketing on that. I like it. Okay. Let's go to this one because... What's next? I'm excited about this one. Oh, I am too. No, this is not the one I'm excited about. I mean, I, I'm excited about them all, but this is not the. Yeah. Ooh, I like this color. Yeah, what color is that? Amaretto, Amaretto and, cream. and cream. That is very pretty. It's so hard to find dark wigs that are rooted. Oh, yeah, this is the wig I want, but I want it in that color. There's a couple I want, and this is one of them. Because I think this looks like Kate. This does look like Kate. Couple of changes. Number one, it's lace front mono part. Sorry to take it off to look. But look at this. Wow. It's short. Melissa, you're going to love this color. That is cute. Isn't that cute? That It's got a great, great, great neckline. And it's shorter on the nape than Kate. But with Kate... I don't know how often you trim a bang in a cape, but quite often. A lot. And with this, you could just steam that back away a little bit and still have that really dramatic long bang. You could put it behind your ear, kind of make it look asymmetrical. It's got options. Yeah, someone, uh, Lisa's saying that the light wand looks warmer on her screen than in person. Yeah, it's this is not warm at all. This is a really creamy. It um, Do you think it's like 23S plus? Yeah, almost. Well, she has half a dozen light blonde, so that's why she was pointing it out because she mm -hmm. knows what that color looks right. like. It's cute. Oh, Melissa, Melissa. Melissa turned it. She tried this on in she the gray. Did? Yeah. Well, she didn't try oh, it on in this, this color. So cute. I'm going to put this on you, Melissa. It. Oh, hi, Hester. I was emailing with her yesterday. Oh, finally the air came on. It was getting a little warm in here. All the hot air. <laughs> no, because I hadn't shut up since we started. Oh, yeah. And I love how, you know, we're always fighting for height in the crown. And I love these styles that it's just naturally there and you don't have to work for it. Love this. Yeah, I like that height, the crown. I like some big hair, but I also like the fact that this can be pulled down a little flatter because of the lace and, oh, let's see, let's That's tuck cute. one side. You can really tuck one side, make it a little bit more asymmetric. Okay. Kriva wants another brunette series with darker colors, not harsh alternatives to for cool skin tones. Uh, the big time in 924 is a cool tone. This is so cute. Uh, Victoria. Oh, I was like, I know that name. I emailed, you emailed me. I emailed, I emailed you back this morning. Thank you, Lisa. Anyway, um, now I don't even know what I was going to say. I don't know. Let's just Victoria's say how, come to visit us. Oh, is she? Yeah, she lives in Iowa. How cute this is. This is Oh, y'all better snatch this up because... And another thing I love about Envy, we haven't talked about it. 90% of the styles that I've seen come in gray. Yeah. They make a lot in gray. Light gray. Oh, Shirley. Tinsley does come in gray. Sorry, I just got distracted. She's Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. She's, she's coming on Facebook from the Scottish Highlands. I'm telling you, I would go today. If I, if I didn't have to make money and pay my bills, I would just... Go today. Pam King's saying that these cute short styles don't come in the platinum color. 
Yeah, well, they, they come in, they're light gray, which is a 60. And the light I think, wand. But she wears a rooted platinum. Oh, yeah, but you're talking about the platinum shadow. Oh, yeah. The yeah, platinum. platinum shadow is really pretty. Yeah. So Some of them do. Some of them come in every color they make. Some of them don't, but they're pretty consistent with. Okay, what's next? Kelsey. Okay. My sister's name is Kelly, and she used to get so mad at us when we called her Kelsey. Well, I call her Kelsey Bean because her name is Kel Kelly Jean. Kelsey Bean. Okay. All right. This looks like something I might like. I think I got mine. It's pretty um, tight. It is smaller. I think I got mine overly fluffed. Well, maybe I did too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, this looks like Mrs. Hannigan. This is who? Hannigan from Annie. Hang on. You know, Carol Burnett played that part. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, this okay, goes back I to think that always. I can see what they were going for, but. Oh my gosh, the picture is so cute. It is cute. It's in that color. I mean, this this has got potential. Y I think it needs, like, I think this got, I think I fluffed it too much. I think it needs a spritz of water and some scrunching. What I think it needs is a lace front. That way you could pull this up and kind of get it out. But it doesn't have lace. And so. it's short in the back. Yeah, well, yeah, you did fluff it. Oh, yeah, no. No. <laughs> could turn to the side. Talk about some height at the crown. <laughs> That's a full out curly wedge. This has potential. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is my least favorite. Oh, it was so I had such high hopes for this. It was so cute well, in the picture. I, mean, I would still wear it. I mean, you the thing is you just gotta put it on and have confidence and say, oh, this is cute. Because <laughs> put it I on and don't look down. Just, just put it on and look down. <laughs> And put a little extra blush on, you'll be good. When I was a little girl, I didn't like uh, any type of shoes that were rounded on the toe. I grew up in the 80s. We had pointed toe shoes. And so when I would go shoe shopping with my mom, she'd go, oh, those are so cute. I'm like, I don't like them. I'll just, you need some good, substantial, comfortable shoes. Just put them on and don't look down. You need some orthopedic shoes when you're 13 years old. Save your, <laughs> get your feet ready for being an adult. <laughs> Okay, I, <laughs> I wish I had a water bottle. I think that would help. Because I think, I'm sorry, y'all. I think this could be cute. Oh, it's better than the spaghetti wig, I think, Karen. This one's better than that one. But, yeah, I think I just. No, I think, yeah, this just needs a little bit of It needs some water, spritzing. Water, yeah. scrunching. I would wear it. I, I don't care what you say, I'd wear it. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be my favorite, but wouldn't y'all just die if I come out next week and said, this is not my favorite <laughs> Well, that color with your beautiful blue eyes is great on you. The color is great. It looks, it looks kind of, what's that called when they're doing something? Like they're doing a photo shoot and it's not really traditional, but it's a little on the edge. Mm -hmm. What's that called? Fashion forward? Avant-garde or something like Avant-garde. Yeah. yeah, you could do this and it could be kind of that. In fact, it is in one of the pictures. She's got that red lipstick on. Yeah, someone asked what it looked like right out of the box. This is right that, out of the box. We shook I it out. I didn't shake mine. Oh, okay. The, um, all of these are right out of the box. We've done nothing to them. If they end up having a cold set issue, you're going to see it because when we show these, we take them right out of the box and we don't, um, we don't okay. do anything. We got to move on. It's been 40 minutes. Oh, oh I got an you appointment can, yeah. at one. Okay, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> what? What's it? That's from Dallas. No, it's Whitney Houston. And she did always say Bobby. <laughs> Bobby Brown. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That's a really sad story. I shouldn't even be making fun of her, but it was funny the way this she This is that. lace front with a full monofilament top. This wig's really pretty. Yeah, this is really I admit, I've tried this on. The others I hadn't, but I've tried this on. Lisa Marie, I agree with you. That wig just needs spritzed with water. It's going to be cute. Uh -huh. This is so pretty. Have we, Kathy Parker, I hope you're not driving. 
She says she's watching us while she's driving to Wisconsin. <laughs> it's a good length. I love it. I, I it's love not this too style. long. This length is very wearable for a whole lot of people. It's very pretty. I keep hitting these lots. And this is macchiato. This is a pretty color. Oh, I thought that was going to be darker. That more looks like cream coffee to me, but you know, who am I to say? All what right. do I have? Candy says she lost the flip in her. Oh, uh, you need a blow brush. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. All right, the I switch. Like I like this color. I don't know if I'm going to switch. This is the one that we said looked like um, Mochaccino R. Oh, yeah. From Here Renee of Paris. And this um, particular lace front, they have done a scalloped edge on. So that's already done for you. Yeah, Toasted Shadow is beautiful. Toasted, oh, I'm, that's Toasted Sesame. I don't know why I put that, y'all. Toasted Sesame, just don't pay attention to what I write on that screen. This, this is, is definitely medium brown. Yeah. That is medium brown. But it's got a root. Mm-hmm. I like it. Bye, Joanne. Bye, Joanne. Have a great day. I know. We went too long. Lynn, that was the... Coco. Kelsey. Kelsey, I'm sorry. Kelsey Bean. Yeah, this is cute. Now, this next one, this is the one I think I'm going to love. All right. I always save the ones I think I'm going to love to last. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> Oops. Juliet. We're in... Juliet now. Okay. Lorraine wants to know if Dakota comes in toasted sesame. Yes. All right. I'm pretty sure. I think Dakota is the one that comes in every car they make. Lace um, front. Mono Mona cars. wants to know if you recommend got to be glued for the. I'm. She didn't finish. I'm guessing for the glaze. The lace. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. And this is a style that you could do a little more smooth, or you can make it all messy. Oh, it is cute. I don't know if I got it done right. I can't see, but. It's kind of Reese like. That's what Marcia says. I said, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> well, Marcia and I are wrong. It might be. It might be. But it's, it's just shorter on the neck than Reese. It's cuter than when uh, John Renault came out with Carly, and it's cuter than, oh, I like that it. Tony and Beverly one? Phoebe? No? No, it's not Phoebe. Oh, okay. um, it starts with a K. A C. A k k k k sound. <laughs> anyway, this is cute. What is that wig? Anyway, Melissa, we ordered it for you and your sister, and you didn't like it. It's fully hand tied. Yeah, this is cute. Yeah, this is real cute. I like the cinnamon toffee color. Oh, okay. oh, Kim, we didn't tell you that it is lace front with a mono part. Yeah, well, so I you're not gonna I be able it, to. But I guess it just. I thought I did. <laughs> when the layers were called feathered. Well, believe it or not, we still have a lot of customers that still call it feathered. This cap yeah, size feels good. Yeah, but can I just good. say something? Yeah. Feathered is the same thing as layered. So if you come in here with a wig like this and say, I want it layered, it's already layered. Pam, <laughs> she'll, uh, Misty will put uh, in the description after we're done, she'll time and date stamp every style so that you can go and refer back. Yeah, they're already listed. But if you give me about an hour, I can put, I'll put a little, if you go to YouTube, they'll put a little time by it, and all you could do is click the time, and I'll take you to that part of the video. This oh, my goodness. Love Kathy's driving with the phone in the nook behind the steering wheel. Girl, you better be careful. This is cute. I need it. I kind of, well, that kind of gives me a little bit of FOMO on what little contraption she's got. Oh, I got one of those too. Oh, Karis. Thank you, Karis. Melissa. See, I told you I had a k k k k k k k I said K first, but then, um, you know, I had second thoughts. So one of the things that I've noticed about Envy is when they make a root, it's really dark. Uh, some of the styles, the root seems a little bit too dark to me. 
it's going to be hard for some people to kind of get over that. My eyebrows are so dark that I can wear a dark root like that, but it's not really my favorite. I like something a little lighter, and that's one of the complaints that we get, or not really a complaint, comment from a lot of people that come in that they want the root, but they don't want it quite so dark. And some of the manufacturers are lightening up the root a little bit, but uh, for the most part on Envy, the root is pretty dark. And um, as far as this style, is that black or brown? I mean, it's brown, but it's, it's dark brown. It's dark. Uh, I wouldn't but call you, it black. With that color, it depends on the color combination, too. You couldn't put a light brown root in that. I don't think it would look good. No, it wouldn't look good. You need something that's complementary to the color. But I don't know that you need a d root that dark in that color. No. But, you know. It's it's all of this is a creative process, right? And, and so, again, we showed on a one of a video a long time ago on using that blonde. We we sell it. It's by Style Edit, and it's called blonde blonde perfection or something mm -hmm. like that. And it's like blonde powder in a little dabby like makeup thing. Puff, you can just powder like, puff. tip it there, and it'll yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just Candy, you're right. Sparkling champagne has a nice root. Sparkling mm -hmm. champagne is. A lot like 12FS8 by John Renault. It's a beautiful, well blended color that has a root that's not too gold and it's not too cool. I'm leaving. Are you are? I'm out of here. I, I am done. Well, we're I'm celebrating done. Carrie's birthday. We are. Y'all have a great week. Don't go anywhere. I'm just stepping out, but um, Carrie's going to be stepping in. Talk to y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <sighs> We should have got you a tiara. I know. Or right. tiara. Tiara. Okay. I have a great sale to announce. So. And what? why are we having this sale? <sighs> because I turned 40. <laughs> turned 40. I know. So 25% um, off your entire purchase. Um, it excludes the Mimi's exclusives. And we're giving away 40 wig grips to the first, like, 40 wig orders. So if you want a free wig grip, guess what? You get 25% off and a free wig grip. I know, right? Isn't that a good deal? Oh, thank you. Are you going to sign every wig grip? I mean, I can't. I can't. Not the wig grip itself. Nobody <laughs> wants my signature on that. The package, maybe? Yes, I can do that. But No, you can't. You're not going to be here for the next two days. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. My kids are competing, so. Carrie has amazing girls that are amazing at dance, and they're all three involved, and and she stuff. stays busy. We're we are so grateful every day that she comes to work. <laughs> I love the fact that as we just said not forty percent off. Look, I tried, guys. Okay, <laughs> I tried, but Kim said no. I mean, and for good reason. Somebody like, has to be the no person. Yeah, somebody has to be the no person. So. Otherwise, we're going to be broadcasting in the dark. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So, forty is the best. Aww. All right. Y'all have a great Thank week. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week, and have fun shopping the sale. Thanks, guys.